alcohol lowers drinking guidelines. What previously used to happen was each province had their own uh, low risk alcohol drinking guidelines. And uh, in 2011, experts met, national agencies, organizations met that focused on alcohol expertise, and they came up with these 2011 national. So it's a Canadian national low risk alcohol drinking guidelines. So they looked at uh, long term and short term health harms. So that's uh, why they geared it to, if, it's, if you're a woman, you have to stay no more than two a day, up to f uh, 10 a week. If you're a male, no yeah. more than three a day, up to 15 a week. So it's based on short-term and long-term risks. So they're basically a Canadian average, is that safe right. to say? I, just a comment, I, I don't know, maybe, uh, I would think they're rather high, are they not? Or no? They seem awful high to me, but... Through the chair, uh, there. This, this is uh, an expert uh, uh, the agency that gathered uh, the report, and they're looking at uh, based on risks and benefits. And uh, that's the suggestion: if people choose to drink, they are not setting limits. These are not targets. They're just saying these, this is a guideline. So it's not a target that people have to drink to that. Uh, it's, it's one of a harm reduction method. If people choose to drink, then if, you, if people stayed within those limits, it showed that uh, if all Canadians stayed within those limits, about 4,600 lives would be saved in really? Canada. Right. That's, that's one of the uh, recommendations uh, from that. Uh, it's just, uh, again, I, 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 of course, I'm sure to some people it's not enough, and to others it's way too much, right? Uh, thank you. Um, Lena, just before I let you go, I have one question for you. I mean, I, I agree with your recommendations here. We need to certainly make sure that we do all we can as a society to help curb this this terrible burden on our on our medical uh, our costs in this province. The deficit uh, that alcohol uh, costs us is phenomenal. But regardless of responsible pricing, limiting how many retail outlets there are in the province or in our community or what marketing controls, it seems to me the bottom line in the end, whether we're talking about issues of alcohol or tobacco or legal uh, drugs or illegal drugs, um, <clears throat> obesity, you name it, it seems to me the most important factor of all is personal responsibility of the individual in our society. Is that a fair statement? And that's really where the real control in the end is? Through the chair, um so, yes, uh, it's a personal responsibility, uh, but we live in a society where alcohol advertising is uh, very harmful to young people and we have to uh, set limits and right now there's no limits, it's a self-regulating industry. Uh, so that hasn't been looked at, so that's why that's one of the key levers. Uh, also, um, as far as personal responsibility, of course, it's up to each individual. But our, as public health practitioners, we're all about informing, uh, making, making sure people have the information to make informed Absolutely. decisions. I agree. Uh, the bottom line to me is when I buy a box of beer and there's 24 cans in it, it doesn't matter to me whether I get it at the corner store or I get it at a government outlet or how many outlets there are or even what the price is. It's really my choice whether I decide to consume the entire box tonight or maybe over the next four months. I think there's, there, therein lies, to me, the problem. Just my personal comment. Thank you very much uh, for uh, this excellent report. Thank you. Thank you. I, I do have a second there, Councillor Oliver, for the resolution. It's printed on page 89. Councillor Wells has moved. Or I should say, Mr. Wells, we're still on the Board of Health. Wells has moved. Oliver has seconded <clears throat> that this report on the Provincial Alcohol Strategy be received as information that the Ontario Public Health Association Alcohol Advocacy Package be received as information. It's attachment one in your agenda. Further, that the Board of Health for the Haldeman Norfolk Health Unit join the call to action by OPHA and other public health units for the Ontario government to develop a comprehensive provincial-wide strategy to support the safe consumption of alcohol by endorsing and sending a letter to the concerned ministry. And finally, that the Board of Health suggests that the recommend, 
The recommended strategy encompass one, socially responsible pricing of alcohol, two, limit of retail outlets and hours of sale, and three, alcohol marketing controls, since evidence shows that these three policy love, love, uh, levers are among the most effective interventions, especially when paired with targeted interventions such as drinking and driving countermeasures, enforcement of the minimum legal drinking age and screening and brief intervention and referral activities. Any discussion on this uh, resolution? Mr. Height. Thank you, Chairman Luke. I, I won't be supporting this motion. Uh, on one hand, we have the government saying we need more retail outlets. We're, we're going to charge expensive amounts for liquor. And then on another uh, side, you have, oh, well, we need to do something about that. So it's just a rat, like a hamster in a hamster cage, spinning, chasing each other. And all the while spending money, spending money. When you look here, on our next page is 97, where it gives you the guidelines and things. There's plenty of information out there. Uh, at the liquor store, there's tons of, in it's information overload. And like you said, Mr. Chairman, if people choose to drink, they're going to drink. So you, you could label it Black Death, stick 40% on it, and people are still going to go and buy it. So, you know, I look here at the number one, socially responsible pricing of alcohol. We know we pay some of the highest prices in North America. So I think that's taken care of. All right, number two, limit of retail outlets and hours of sale. So if you're a shift worker, yeah, sorry, you couldn't come. And that was one of the reasons why they switched a few things up. But in rural Ontario, it's nice that you don't have to drive 40 minutes for a bottle of wine if your in-laws or outlaws, whoever they are, are coming over to visit you, Mr. Chairman. It, it, as you said, it's responsible, people's responsibilities for this. I don't think it's a government's responsibility to really start being your nanny. It's one of the things Ontario does a lot of, and I'm not going to support this one, Mr. Mayor. I think people have to do what they, they do and be responsible for their own actions. Further discussion? You've heard the resolution. Those in favour? Those opposed? It's carried. Thank you. I am not aware of any subcommittee reports. There are some communications. Item 5 on page 98, a staff memo from Susan Taylor on our uh, operational audit and the progress that has been made and some good progress. Do you wish to comment on that? And then I'll go to the next one and see if there's any further questions. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for the opportunity. Um, staff would just like to say that um, progress has been quite successful and that um, as per the memo, uh, 29 of the 48 uh, recommendations have been completed and we're well on our way um, to complete the remaining uh, 19. Um, it has been a huge undertaking by staff um, with the supporting documentation to ensure that everything is complete and in compliance uh, with uh, the recommendations of the board. And I'd be happy to answer any questions um, in the memo. Uh, Mr. Wells, we're going to deal with uh, just this one item first that we're on, so go ahead on the audit. Thank you very much. Just 5A, a, go ahead. Uh, just a question to Ms. Miranda. We realize that we had a problem in the past. We are trying to correct the problem. Can we be assured that chances are we will not find ourselves in that similar position again? Uh, so um, through the mayor to Councillor Wells, uh, staff is quite confident with all the new systems that have been put into place and all the checks and balances that we will be in full compliance moving forward and we are putting um, audit checks uh, to ensure that all of the pieces are adhered to. And my last question would be, did we fall behind in our mandatory reporting and so on because of SAMS in any way? Uh, so through the mayor, uh, SAMS is uh, a part of our social services um, division and actually for Ontario Works and has no correlation um, to public health. Mr. Columbus. Mr. Chairman, I just wondered if anyone else had difficulty reading the 15 pages that followed page 98. Just me? I thought so. Thank you. I have to admit, it is, uh, it is small, the type. It doesn't make it look like there's so many issues when they're that small a font. 
Any other questions on this item 5A? So moved by Mr. Brunton and seconded by Mr. Columbus that staff memo operational audit. Recommendations progress update be received as information. Discussion? Those in favor? It's carried. And uh, Marlene, I just want to say that Susan, over time, and yourself have kept me apprised of the progress that you have on this onerous task of addressing all those audit issues. And uh, you've really done some remarkable work, you folks, your staff. So we do, as a board, appreciate that very much. I had no idea you would move quickly on so many items. Thank you for that. I will go to 5B now. This is a staff memo from Ms. Miranda. This is the uh, Health Unit's public disclosure system on page 115. If you wish to comment, please. So thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, tonight I'd also like to uh, introduce and to welcome to Norfolk County, uh, Shamir, um, who is our uh, manager of quality, planning, accountability, and performance. Uh, he is the new division that uh, we created about a year ago, and uh, he has been with us just about four months, uh, and he's actually taking the lead on uh, this project, so I will let him uh, introduce it. Well, welcome, Jameer, and I believe we have uh, met somewhere our paths have crossed. We welcome you, and uh, I'll turn things over to you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members of uh, the Board of Health. I would like to introduce a memo regarding uh, a public disclosure system. Uh, the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care has identified transparency and greater public disclosure of information as key priorities in ensuring that the public has access to timely, useful, and accurate information. Uh, we expect that uh, access to this information will enable the public to make informed decisions about their health. Uh, in, in light of this priority, they, there is a new requirement that has been included in the Ontario Standards for Public Health Programs and Services. The requirement is that the, pub, the Board of Health would disclose results of all inspections in accordance to the drinking water protocol, food, food safety protocol, electronic cigarette compliance protocol, infection prevention and control in child care centers protocol, infection prevention and control in personal services settings protocol, infection prevention and control practices compliance protocol, recreational water protocol, tanning beds compliance protocol and tobacco compliance protocol as well as the vaccine storage and handling protocol. Furthermore, these this uh, pro uh, process of public disclosure will enable us to address one of the audit recommendations, uh, which is reporting on achievement of performance targets. Staff has initiated a project to implement a public, dis uh, public health disclosure system, which we hope to start from January 2018. Uh, the scope of the project work includes the uh, public communications about the system, a data quality assurance, a database configuration and a website design. So uh, the objective in the memo is to inform the Board of Health about this system that we hope to come on stream come January 2018. With that, if there are any questions, I'll be available to Thank address. Thank you very much. Any questions to our presenter? Mr. Oliver, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and thanks for that overview. Uh, when I read, uh, I guess, the first uh, or the second paragraph, relative to publicly disclosing results of all inspections or information. Will we be, in other words, will you be obligated to report if a business or a daycare center, for example, or uh, et cetera, has a less than satisfactory inspection? Will, that, will the name of that business, as well as the nature of the infraction, be reported publicly as part of this disclosure system? Uh, through the chair to the councillor. Yes, the objective behind the system is to report the findings of the inspection in a, in a format that is user-friendly and that is easily understood by the public. So uh, let's say, for example, food premises. So if you wanted to go for a dinner, you could go on the website and find out what, how, what the last inspection report was on that premises. And, and has that been the case to date? I know we conduct food, uh, using food premises as an example, you conduct, I think, hundreds of <coughs> such inspections over the course of the year. Uh, do you publicly disclose the results of those now, or is this a new thing that's going to happen effective January 2018? Through the chair to the member, this, this is a new requirement we, we are now mandated to do. So we, uh, it's based on a new requirement in the mandate. So we weren't doing this before, so it's a new system we hope to implement going forward. Okay, and my final question then, Mr. Chairman, is uh, 
to what extent will be will we be if any informing the businesses uh, whether they be restaurants child care facilities etc of this new mandated disclosure publicly will they be given a heads up in advance of this starting to roll out through the chair to the member if you look at the last last paragraph of the memo the scope of our work will include public communications so under the public communications we will inf inform the vendors and the providers that this is a new system that is going to be rolled out as well as inf inform public the general public okay. about the availability of that right. system yes thank you anything uh, further Thank you very much, sir. I have a resolution from Mr. Brunton. Uh, he has moved it, and uh, Mr. Guidens has seconded that the staff memo of the Haldeman Norfolk Health Unit Public Disclosure System be received as information. Discussion on this further? I hear none. Those in favor? And that's carried. Number six is our bylaws. This is the uh, bylaw 2017. It's a bylaw to govern the, the procedures of the Haldeman Norfolk Board of Health and all of its committees, the calling of meetings, the conduct of members. You will find those 24 pages in your agenda on page 65 through to 88. Councillor Wells, I hope you have read part 12 carefully. Thank you, especially the part about the conduct towards the chair. <laughs> So uh, I will um, go ahead with the motion then if there's any part of that procedure that we, we, we must have something in place. This is it. It's, it's, it's very thorough. It's moved by Mr. Columbus and seconded by Mr. Oliver that bylaw 2017-10-BH, this is the bylaw to govern the procedures of the Haldeman Norfolk Board of Health and all of its committees, the calling of meetings and the conduct of its members. And that's uh, in here, as I said, as attachment A in the 1758 report. Uh, that this be passed, signed by the chair and the clerk, and fixed with the corporate seal. Discussion? If not, those in favor? Carried. Thank you. Another one off the list, Marlene. Any other business to come before the Board of Health? We have a closed session to deal with one item before we do the confirming bylaw. I would suggest uh, that when we move into closed session, you bring the one report with you on the closed memo. It's moved by Mr. Brunton and seconded by Mr. Black. That the Board of Health moved into a closed session at 4.32 p.m. to discuss matters pursuant to section 239B of the Municipal Act 2001, as amended as the subject matter pertains to personnel matters about identifiable individuals, including municipal or local board employees. Any discussion? Those in favor of going, going into closed session? Opposed? That's carried. We will now move to closed session. With hard work, we built a dream that only willing hands could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Erie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dog woods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you.
On a strip of sandy soil Lies a county called Norfolk It's Ontario, south coast, you know And it's surely not remote If you pass through or spend a day Or decide to call it home You'll see why we love it here And are proud to call it our own No Southern County home No foe, no foe We know you can't go wrong With the friendly folk of no foe You won't be a stranger long Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow Like our kids that go and see the world can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My Cullen County home With hard work we build a dream That only will enhance could do It's on display at our fall fairs And at all the festivals too Eerie beaches, Carolinian forests Where the flower and dogwoods bloom Patchwork fields and rolling hills It's just the place for you On a strip of sandy soil Lies a county called Norfolk It's Ontario, south coast, you know And it's surely not remote If you pass through or spend a day Or decide to call it home You'll see why we love it here And are proud to call it our own No Southern County home No foe, no foe We know you can't go wrong With the friendly folk of no foe You won't be a stranger long Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow Like our kids that go and see the world can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My Cullen County home
With hard work we built a dream that only willing hands could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Erie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No. Southern County home No fault, no fault We know you can't go wrong With the friendly folk of Norfolk You won't be a stranger long Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow like our kids that go and see the world And can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My Cullen County home Hard work, we built a dream that only willing hands could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Erie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. Soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If 
you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own no phone no phone a southern county home no Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world and can't wait to return home. Drop a line in a placid lake or stroll along the shore. Take a tour on a peaceful country road. With hard work, we build a dream that only will enhance could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Eerie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No Southern County home No phone, no phone We know you can't go wrong With the friendly folk of Norfolk You won't be a stranger long Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow Like our kids that go and see the world can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My Cullen County home Hard work, we built a dream that only will enhance could do. 
It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Erie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No. Southern County home No foe, no foe We know you can't go wrong With the friendly folk of no foe You won't be a stranger long Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow like our kids that go and see the world And can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My Cullen County home Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have a resolution moved by Mr. Brunton, seconded by Mr. Geisens, that the Board of Health move out, move out of closed session at 4.52 p.m. and reconvene in open session. Those in favor? It's carried. Uh, we were in closed session with the Board of Health. We discussed a personnel issue, a direction was given to staff to proceed from board members. I'm going to the confirming bylaw. It has been moved by Mr. Brunton, seconded by Mr. Black. That bylaw 2017-11-BH, uh, uh, the Board of Health, being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of the Board of Health for the Haldeman Norfolk Health Unit at the Board of Health meeting held on this 24th day of October 2017 be passed by the Mayor and the Clerk and affixed with the corporate seal to those in favor of the confirming bylaw opposed that is carried. We are now adjourned. Uh, we have been going since 3 o'clock in the Board of Health. We will begin our council meeting in 15 minutes at 10 after 5. Thank you. With hard work, we build a dream that only will enhance could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Eerie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills It's just the place for you No foe, no foe A southern county home No foe, no foe We know you can't go wrong With the friendly folk of no foe You won't be a stranger alone 
On a strip of sandy soil Lies a county called Norfolk It's Ontario, south coast, you know And it's surely not remote If you pass through or spend a day Or decide to call it home You'll see why we love it here And are proud to call it our own No County home, no foe, no foe. We know you can't go wrong with the friendly folk of no foe. You won't be a stranger long. Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world. Can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road You're bound to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My cousin county home With hard work, we built a dream that only will enhance could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Eerie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. On a strip of sandy soil Lies a county called Norfolk It's Ontario, south coast, you know And it's surely not remote If you pass through or spend a day Or decide to call it home You'll see why we love it here And are proud to call it our own No County home, no foe, no foe. We know you can't go wrong with the friendly folk of no foe. You won't be a stranger long. Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world. Can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My cousin county home Oh,
hard work we built a dream that only willing hands could do it's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too eerie beaches carolinian forests where the flower and dogwoods bloom patchwork fields and rolling hills it's just the place for soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No. Southern County home No fault, no fault We know you can't go wrong With the friendly folk of no fault You won't be a stranger long Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow like our kids that go and see the world And can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My Cullen County home With hard work we built a dream that only willing hands could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Eerie beaches, Carolinian forests where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, 
You'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No phone, no phone, a southern county home. No phone, no phone, we know you can't go wrong with the friendly phone. Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world and can't wait to return home. Drop a line in a placid lake or stroll along the shore. Take a tour on a peaceful country road. With hard work, we build a dream that only will enhance could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Eerie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. On a strip of sandy soil Lies a county called Norfolk It's Ontario, south coast, you know And it's surely not remote If you pass through or spend a day Or decide to call it home You'll see why we love it here And are proud to call it our own No Southern County home No phone, no phone We know you can't go wrong With the friendly folk of Norfolk You won't be a stranger long
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. A welcome, everyone. This is our council meeting of October 24th, 2017. Uh, as I indicated earlier, we were sitting as Board of Health starting at 3 o'clock. So I will call this meeting of council uh, to begin at this time. Remind everyone, if you do have a cell phone a device with you, if you would put it on the silence, uh, that would be appreciated. As I mentioned, at 3 o'clock, Judy Ann McCauley is our volunteer. She is helping broadcast today's meeting and a reminder to all those in attendance that we are televised and we are web streamed. I'm going to... Uh, It's been moved by Councillor Wells and seconded by Councillor Oliver that the agenda be approved with the following addition. There is one item to consider to add. It would be item 1A under ceremonial activities. It is a, it is a presentation of the first poppy from Mr. John Charlot, who is the poppy chairman of our legion here in Simcoe Branch 79. Can I have a show of hands to allow that, please? That is carried, thank you. So our agenda is set for this evening. Mr. Charlo, welcome if you'd like to come forward at this time. Your Worship, members of council, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let me thank you for changing your agenda for me. Uh, it was a great honor to be here today, representing Branch 79, Simcoe, the Royal Canadian Legion. This year is a milestone year for Canada. I will not say we celebrate, but we do remember that 100 years ago, British soldiers fought their way into history with such battles as Vimy Ridge and Passchendaele. Who was the Halifax explosion? It was 100 years ago this year, December the 6th. And while the painful memories of 100 years ago, we still stand proud and celebrate 150 years as a nation called Canada. Every year on the last Friday of October until November, the Ohio Theater Legion across Canada conducts a poppy campaign. Canadians have donated money to support the services we provide and to clearly show our recognition of the debt owed to so many Canadians who gave their lives for our freedom. The poppy has stood as a symbol of res uh, remembrance, a visual pledge to never forget those Canadians who have fallen in war and military operations. Nowadays, the cis Canadians, their spouses, children, 